Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification. In that way, you wouldn't miss any time I publish a new video. All right, so what are we going to be making today? Well, today we'll be making sofrito. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to be picking some Chardon Bene, or another name for this is Culantro or Recao, in order to make our sofrito. So I'm just picking some of it here. All right, I think that should be good. We're going to be adding this to our sofrito. Okay, guys, so these are the ingredients that we're going to use in order to make our sofrito. So here I have a bunch of cilantro. Here I have a bunch of culantro or recao or chardon bene. I'm going to be using a red bell pepper, two plum tomatoes, a green bell pepper, about 10 cloves of garlic, one onion, and some seasoning peppers. Now this is optional. This is from my garden. These are not hot peppers. They're simply flavoring peppers. And I decided seeing that I have it growing in my garden, let me add it to my sofrito. Okay, so the culantro or shadow bene or recao, if you can't get it, just use the bunch of cilantro, okay? All right, so let's get started. What we're gonna to have to do is cut this up and we're gonna be adding it to our food processor with some olive oil, okay? So we're gonna uh, start chopping it so that it can um, fit in our food processor. All right, so let me start chopping this and to break it down so I can make space for the other ingredients. I'm going to be adding a little bit of olive oil in it so that we can get it to start to chop up. All right, so I'm going to add some olive oil here so we can get this to start blending. Oh, I forgot a part of my food processor, so I have to empty everything out. All right, so let's try this again. Now, some people don't add olive oil, they use water, but I've decided I will use olive oil. All right, so I think my sofrito is looking good. I think this is the consistency that is good enough. Let me just do one more pulse in of the food processor. Just to make sure I chop up everything. Okay guys, so our sofrito is now finished, as you can see. And how do we use this? Well, we use this, for example, when we're seasoning our meats, we can use this. Um, we could even use this when you're doing your rice and peas as well, 
when you're doing stew peas. This is a base for adding to any of your, of your dishes. So whether you're doing meats or you're doing fish or you're doing rice, this is a staple in many Spanish households, sofrito, okay? Now, you have an option. You can either store this, like you can freeze it. So you can put it in ice trays and then freeze it and maybe put it in like a Ziploc bag or whenever you need to use it. You know, you just take out how many blocks you want or you can put it in some jars and put it in the fridge, okay? So it's up to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my sofrito in some, in some jars.